Hey, welcome to the Small Business Made Simple podcast, brought to you by socialmediaandmarketing.com.au. Being in business is never easy, but it can be simple, or at least simpler. Join me, your host Jen Donovan, every week where we focus on marketing, social media and working towards simplifying your business. You with me? Let's do this. Gonna dream it, dream it, beat the someone out there listening. Everyone's got a voice to give and it's time I heard you whistling cause there's no point at all. Oh, oh, oh. And dream and small. Why, hey there, my fabulous listener. Welcome to episode 179 of the Small Business Made Simple podcast. Thank you, as always, for lending me your ears today. I know you have lots of choices out there, and I really do appreciate you making me one of them. Today, we are talking omni channels and why you need more omni in your life. I'm pretty sure that's not how you're supposed to say omni, as in need more omni in your business life. But hey, I think you do, and that's what I'm talking about today on the podcast. If you're enjoying my podcast, then I would really love you to take a screenshot and share it on your socials and tag me so that I can cheer you on, I can follow you and we can be social media friends. That would mean the world to me. So I look forward to seeing your screenshots and you tagging me in them. That would be so great. Before we get into the episode, I just want to remind you that you can find the show notes with all the links and anything else we might be discussing today in on my website. And you can find that at socialmediaandmarketing.com.au slash 179. Also, before we get started today, I just wanted to talk about the fact that um, I have opened up my audits for, um, I guess, not much of February left. Probably, let's say March, March and April. So basically where I do an audit of your social media and your marketing and your strategy, if that's something you might be interested in, then let's have a bit of a chat. We can do a bit of a Zoom chat and see whether that's something you might like to dig further into. Or look, you can go and find all the details at bit.ly, B-I-T dot L-Y slash audit with Jen. Obviously, Jen has two ends, or you can find that link in the show notes. But I would love to help you make 2022 an awesome year by making sure that you are using your marketing in the best way that you possibly can, especially strategically. After a few conversations in the past week or so, or weeks or so, okay. <laughs> Probably, honestly, after a few frustrating conversations in the past few weeks, I wanted to chat to you about omni-channel marketing, what omni-channel marketing is, why you need to be thinking about it in your business plans and your marketing strategy, and how not thinking about it, hence the frustrating conversations I've been having, is impacting your business in ways that you're just not perhaps thinking about today. So firstly, what the high flying kite, Jen, is, you know, omni-channel marketing. What am I talking about? So having an omni-channel approach is um, your business basically seeking to provide customers a seamless shopping experience, whether they're shopping online, on a desktop, on a tablet, on a phone, or in bricks and mortar stores. It's kind of that branding that experience across all your different platforms. To me, it's the approach of having your brand synced across all your platforms, online and offline, but also from a marketing point of view, having multiple touch points. When I was in retail, my mentor always used to talk about the rule of six. You needed six touch points to take someone from lead to list to sale. So basically, you know, the buyer's journey, you get them in as a lead, you put them on your list, you nurture them into a sale. So basically taking someone from a liker to a buyer, so to speak. Clearly, the rule of six is outdated and it's probably more like 12 if we're honest, but I think it's even more than that. So the rule that I talk about is 11, 7, 4. So remember those numbers, 11, 7, 4. Because Google research actually tells us that we need 11 touch points with a prospect. They need to consume seven hours of content or have seven hours of interacting with our business. And they need four different platforms or outlets in order to consume that content and have those touch points. So ask yourself, how long would it take a prospect 
to have 11 touch points with you, consume seven hours of content or interact for seven hours with your business and see you on four different platforms or outlets. Given if process is probably sped up for product-based businesses. I think product-based businesses actually, you know, do speed up this process. I think that's a bit of a given. It's not like a good rule of thumb to think about when it comes to your marketing strategy, but multi-channel or omni-channel approach, you need to embrace this in your business because of what we're talking about here. So yes, product-based businesses, see a candle, want a candle, buy a candle. I get that that's possibly a little bit different, but for a lot of service-based businesses and still a lot of retail-based businesses, you do need multiple touch points before they will trust you to buy. So those numbers are pretty powerful, aren't they? 11, 7, 4. If building trust is a way to build a business, if building a community is the way to build a profitable, profitable business, then these numbers need to become something you study and really look at inside your business. The audit I talked about earlier, these are some of the things I look at strategically for you and make recommendations on. So, so you might be asking, what's the source of frustration that I've been having in the conversations uh, a little bit lately? Well, it's a little bit around mindset. It's a little, re- a little bit around not making marketing a priority in their business. And it's a little bit about the overwhelm people are feeling. Build it and they will come is the attitude of some small business owners. I have a social media, I have a website, I have this, I have that. And why aren't I selling anything? Why can't I build a community? That's what they're asking themselves. And of course, the answer is 11, 7, 4. Not making marketing a priority is a downfall of many small business owners. And I get it. I totally get it. Life is busy. But doing your money-making activities such as marketing first needs to be a priority in your business in order to grow and be profitable. Or for some people, just to become profitable. Some people don't want to grow and I get that. But we all want to become more profitable. We all want to earn money. That's why we are in the business that we are in. And I think we need to stop making waves about that and just say, I'm in business to make money. And because marketing is everything, marketing is everything. And therefore, if you put marketing at the forefront, if you make marketing a priority, you will naturally get 11, 7, 4. Spreading your touch points, being multi-channeled is so important in 2022. Yes, you should only be where your ideal client is, at least for business. You, you know, it's, you don't need to be across all the channels if that's where your people are hanging out. But only having Facebook or only concentrating on Instagram isn't going to work for most small businesses, for the majority of small businesses. Therefore, 11, 7, 4. 11 touches, 7 hours, 4 platforms. Being in business is a business in itself. And I guess my frustration comes when small business owners want to make money but don't want to spend money making money. Having that omni-channel approach challenges us not only to have our own website, our own social media platforms and our own email list or bricks and mortar store, but also to put our products and services on, for instance, a marketplace such as spendwithus.com.au that has its own traffic or an Etsy or an eBay or do collaborations with other small business owners, cross promote on each other's social platforms, share email lists for a project or use Facebook groups or write blogs or write PR articles for PR media opportunities or go on podcasts for interviews or of course start your own. This is multi channel marketing some see it as spreading themselves thin but I think that's a mindset thing if you I I see it as ensuring you are reaching your ideal client where they hang out and given that you need to give them 11 touches to build trust loads of content to consume for them to get to know you and like you then it goes without saying therefore that we need to 
be across more than what perhaps some small businesses are. We do need four different channels or four different platforms. And when I say channels or platforms, you might have an online store, a Facebook, an Instagram, and a bricks and mortar. You know, you've got your four channels, but how much content, how long will it take someone to consume seven hours of content of yours or interact with you for seven hours? You know, and do you have, how long will it take to get 11 touch points? So if you applied the seven, sorry, if you applied the 11, seven and four rule to your business, how would it stack up? How omni-channeled are you? And I do that in inverted commas. I don't even know. You probably shouldn't say omni-channeled, but you know, how do you look? Maybe do an audit and be honest and take a look at your business and look where you can improve your strategy to ensure your prospects are A, finding you, B, finding out what they need to know about you and C, buying from you because they know, like and trust you so much from all the interactions they've managed to have with you online and offline. You don't need to be everywhere, but you do need to be in more places than just your own set of real estate and perhaps even more places than you currently are. Not everyone, but most of us do need to be thinking about the amount of places we are putting our business and our brand and interacting with our ideal clients or our ideal customers. There's a reason why I have a weekly podcast, a weekly blog, social media, an email list and so on for this particular reason because I understand 11 7 so reach out if you want to chat about your channels or your omniness. Again, pretty sure that's not a word. Um, and we can have a chat. You can book a discovery call with me by going to the website at socialmediaandmarketing.com.au. But guys, that's it for today. I just really want to talk to you about omni-channel, omni-channel marketing and really just set you having a look inside your own business. And again, like I said, perhaps do an audit 11 7 4. Remember, you can find all the show notes at socialmediaandmarketing.com.au slash 179. But I will see you back on the podcast next week for episode 180, which that's pretty cool, isn't it? Edging towards 200. Bit of a mind blow there. But in the meantime, let's make sure we hang out on social and get social on social. You will find me on Instagram and Facebook and, of course, my LinkedIn um, on my LinkedIn as well. But whatever you do, remember my small business peeps. As my opening song says, there is no point in dreaming small. No time like the present. Tell I can feel it, say it proud, be true and let us see you for the star that you are. No point in dreaming small. I would like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land, the Yorta Yorta people, on which I record this podcast and conduct my business today and pay my respects to their elders, past and present. I extend this respect to the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people here with us today as well.